identify as the key man in this fixture. Yeah, Giro Immobile. He's your classic striker, Peter. Absolutely lethal when he's got a sight of goal. He can play both on the shoulder of the defender or as a kind of target man, but given his superlative finishing ability, his teammates should be looking to get the ball to him in the box whenever possible. Guys, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much. Gets it out to the wing, looks to thread it through. It's terribly unfortunate for them, and maybe we can attribute that to a, to a loss of focus. Through. Pandev looks to get on the end of this. Shoots! Oh, and that should have been two. Yeah, he knew only too well that to concede then would have been tough to recover from. That could prove a big moment in this game. He'll hit it! Italy are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. And he's away. No, no way through there. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Lorenzo Insigne. That's surely a foul free kick. The booking always looked it. <laughs> There's not much doubt that this will be played into the penalty area. It's another dead ball chance. Italy probably could have killed things off, but they should be okay here. Bonucci gets it back. They are right into last chance territory. Now it's Berardi. He goes long. 